September the 11th, it has come and gone. But we are still here fighting against the evils of Islam, the Quran, Muhammad, and Sharia law. The Quran is charged with the training and promoting of terrorist activities around the world. The Quran is charged with the crimes against women, against minorities, against Christians to discharge the Quran has been found guilty. Coming in this area when we first moved here, I think there was a little bit of apprehension from the neighbors because here these Muslims coming in, they might create some problem in the neighborhood. Assalamu alaikum, how are you, Ifan? Assalamu alaikum, Osama. How are you doing? It doesn't make you feel very good. There's some level of tension, there's some level of apprehension, there's some level of fear. and especially since 9-11. Children have been harassed. Walking to the mosque have been attacked. So, so these things do, do create some level of fear in, in the youngsters. Detroit since I was five years old. They used to jump us and everything, me and my little brothers. Um, like, they come from behind our house or anything. It's like almost every day. Yeah, it was scary. They say uh, Muslims are dirty and terrorists. It kind of makes us feel bad. I'm sorry, blow our stuff up. Can't burn a book. We're beginning to see the institutionalization of Islamophobia in America. We are definitely not against uh, the Muslim people. We are very, uh, as any Christian, I guess, moved and horrified that 1.5 million people or 1.5 billion people would die and go to hell without Jesus. We are asking for the immediate halting of all Muslim immigration and the removal of all illegal aliens from the United States. About Pastor Terry Jones, who's coming to our area, these people are trying to stir up trouble. People trying to get us excited, people trying to do things to make us angry, trying to get a response. We have to keep our cool and use our minds. We as Muslims are never allowed to take the law into our own hands. Do not be like the mindless people. What I'm saying here is that we need to use our minds so that we can properly convey this message and show the beauty of this land. This is all of your responsibility, by the way. America has an ugly past, but it has come a long way. I believe it's because of the core goodness in every human. And, and, and as truth begins to emerge 
falsehood has to die, whether it wants to or not. It might go away kicking and screaming, but falsehood has to go.